gemacht. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on Minecraft Survival Let's Play World. And in the last episode, we worked on three, three buildings over here, which absolutely took me ages to do. And uh, probably took me about four hours in total. But I really do love this place, how it's coming all together really nicely. And of course, we still need to finish off this area over here. Just for the thumbnail, I quickly popped in some bushes. Like I explained at the end of the last episode, well, I was thinking we could probably fit in a few more details around here, like a couple of custom trees or so, and maybe a well that I was thinking about. However, in today's episode, the main thing I plan to do is not building related. Even though we're still going to be doing the custom tree placed behind me and a well, and maybe do a few interviews and a couple of these builds over here, I was thinking the main thing that we should do is do a redstone based build and what i have in mind is a sand duplicator a sand block duplicator that's right you can actually duplicate sand blocks in this game and there's no actual other way to get sand blocks there's other ways to get like gravel blocks and like some of those things and this duplicator will not only duplicate sand but it can duplicate every single gravity block and that also includes dragon eggs you know concrete powder every single thing that's a gravity block and I think it's really cool and I'm planning to make that in today's episode. And as you heard, I was talking about doing some interiors in this episode. And as you can see, this building's got no interior, this building's got no interior, this building's got no interior, this building, and so many more. And if you actually heard me in the last episode, I was thinking about having a full huge interior based only episode. However, I think that's a bit unrealistic. And we've only got a few builds right now, so I was thinking maybe we should do that towards the end of this village kind of completion because it'd be really cool to get all these builds done first before we start implementing the interiors and knowing what we want in each one. And of course, we can always do this as a separate kind of huge video as kind of a special. We're finishing off this area, doing a kind of completion of interiors and details around this whole village. And also, as you can see, we've also changed a few things since the last episode. We've also added a little chimney there and dotted around a few other details. But without a further ado, let's get straight into making the sand duplicator. Now, as you can see, we're flying away from the village area. And that's because this sand duplicator actually requires an end portal for it to function. And if you guys are actually wondering how to build it yourself, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below of the tutorial that I'm using, which is by Shulkercraft on how to build this. I'm not too sure who the original builder was for this uh, form design. I believe it's El Mango, but I'm not certainly 100% correct uh, sure about this. So, you know, I'm just going to leave the link in the description. And um, if you guys want to make one yourself, you can just go watch that. And it's a, it's a pretty nice tutorial on how to make one. Of course, first though, I need to find where our end portal is. I believe it's somewhere around here. Is that so? Yeah, we've got another portal there. I believe that's the one we used to get around. And yeah, it's over here. So if you just go down in here and we can start construction of this sand duplicator. Every time I enter the stronghold, I always get lost. But I believe this is the way to the portal, if I'm correct. Just walk through this door and there it is, the portal. And I think we should build this redstone sand duplicator together on camera but before we have to do that i have to clear out a huge space where this actual contraption is going to go so if you give me a minute i'm going to go ahead and do that and then we can start working on the contraption together all right as you can see we made the room a lot larger so that it can accompany the redstone contraption to duplicate these gravity blocks with ease and um i think this is a sufficient amount of the space for the contraption to actually fit in and it didn't take me too long to mine this whole area out it only took me under five minutes to mine this whole area out but now we have to actually move down into making our redstone contraption of course to do that we need to pull out my ender chest which it seems that i do not have on me oh, well that's a shame i've left it all the way back at the village oh i have to go get that again coming in for the landing at my village and there we go, my ender chest is over here. You quickly grab this 
And I think there's actually one more thing that we need to grab before we go back to the stronghold. And that's actually gathering some of these mushrooms over here. Because we actually need this to make our redstone contraption. Now if you're wondering what these mushroom blocks are for, you have to actually break them and not get the blocks themselves, but get the mushrooms. And what you want to do with these mushrooms is actually to remove these end portal frames here. So by going underneath the block and counting two out, so I believe one, two, and I believe you break this block here, and you place some dirt down, and you place the mushroom, and I believe you blow meal it, and it should remove the portal frames. But before I do that, I'm just going to double check so I don't make any mistakes and, you know, remove these actual end portal blocks here. So I've gone ahead and checked, and yep, I've done this correctly. If you just go underneath this block, middle block over here, and you count one, two, and dig one hole down, you place the red mushroom there on a block of dirt, and you do the same on the other side over here, and then you just need to go ahead, grab some bone meal, and then bone meal them so that they become big mushrooms and remove these blocks here. So now if we place our ender chest down, grab some dirt, like a so, and grab some bone meal, which I hopefully have in this box here. So do we got plenty of this? Turn this into some bone meal, like so. Place some dirt down here. Red mushroom block over there. The red mushroom actually not the block. And we bone meal it. Hopefully, we maybe need to give it some light. Hopefully, it becomes big and destroys those blocks. It sure does, and that's absolutely amazing. And we have to do the same for this side. Come on, grow. Let's go. We did it. Okay, now if we just break these mushrooms, and there we go. That's pretty cool. We've got our portal with no portal frames, and I think that looks really good. And that's going to be super important for actually making the bomb design itself. And I think you can also destroy these ones if you want to. But I'm just going to leave them there for now. Or maybe later on, we can add some more off camera. But for now, I'm just going to do these two sides as the bomb itself. So once you go ahead and do that, just destroy these mushrooms like I was saying. And then we can get straight on to the next part of this, which is the redstone. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my redstone box, which is this one, sure is, place that down, and we've got some redstone components here, which will help me build this contraption. And I believe this is everything that we need. I think the only thing that may be missing is a minecart hopper, but I've got some iron over here to help me create that, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I don't think I'm going to do this on camera, because honestly, I myself don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, like I said before, the link will be in the description, so if you want to make it yourself as well, then you can always just go into the description, press on that link, and it'll take you to the tutorial that I used to make this myself. Anyway, without a further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into building this, so that we can start duplicating our gravity blocks as soon as possible. I've gone ahead, finished the contraption, and honestly it didn't take me too long, it took me about 20 minutes to complete this. And you can see it took very minimal amount of resources and it's pretty simple to follow the tutorial. We just got a sticky piston here, some slime blocks, the sand that we're going to be duplicating, and then just some basic redstone wiring over here. And then you of course have to make this chunk loader kind of machine over here, which chunk loads the nether so that when you actually enter the end to form the sand, uh, the sand will continue coming through while you're in the end. And I think this is a really easy and simple design, but I haven't tested it yet. I think we should go ahead, test this together. And I think uh, we should also make the like catching system and like the collection system because I haven't done that yet. So let's go ahead and try this together because I haven't tried it and I'm very nervous and hopefully this works. So the first step that we need to do is actually load up this chunk loader thing. So I believe we just put a, any sort of block in here. So let's just put in um, let's see what we have on. Put in, so we put in this, we'll put in this direct wall, okay? And yeah, this should go through the nether and come back. Yeah, you can see by that redstone thing. And then we've got some on off switches over here, so hopefully this works. Yeah, this is coming through. Coming through. Just set my spawn here. And if we jump through here and land on the obsidian platform. Alright, there's the sand, okay, it's going so fast, okay, um, 
but we have to quickly make the collection system. So where does the sand land? One, it lands about here, right? Yeah. So let's build kind of like some machine here. Let's let's go like this. Out two blocks here. Then let's build a hopper in here. Then let's put some. Oh wait, I've kind of placed the hopper in a weird place. Oh, that's no good. Like you have to kind of. Like I'm gonna try and retrieve this hopper without it making it going into the void. Okay, I got the hopper. Okay, now let's do this a little better now. Okay, so let's just go like this. Then put the hopper facing that way, so that now we can actually put it into a chest to the side and place some stone like a so yeah that works. Okay, this is no good. Okay, well okay, this is not gonna be good. Okay, I need to put some torches there. Okay, let's put a wall. Let's just put a oh this is no good. Okay, we have to time this, okay? Like there we go. Now this should start collecting sand here. Yep, that's collecting sand. And I'll just kind of put like something here just to collect that. Put a chest down there and I have to do the same to this side so that we can collect some sand from over here. So hopefully this fix will just do the same thing. Go like so. Go like so. Oh. Then oops. Go like this. Place a torch down. Like so. And then place another block on top of that. And yep, they're both collecting sand now. I think we need to kind of expand the storage though and make this like collection system a little better because you see the sand is going to the side a little bit. So I'm gonna get more hoppers and do that and then kind of attach some chests over here so that we have some expanded storage but wow this is producing a lot of sand already okay well i think i should go back to the overworld and stop this machine for now now we know it works but i think it's producing so much sand that these hoppers are going to fill so quickly so i'm probably going to make the collection system better off camera and uh just for now i'm going to turn this machine off and uh probably in the coming few episodes i'll show you what I've done to this area. All right, just got to fly through here. Here we are back here. Okay, now we have to quickly turn these machines off before they. Oh well, looks like turn that one off in a weird place. But you just add the sand back onto here. But that's good. We know that our duplication machine is working, and we can use any gravity block, so we can also duplicate some dragon eggs and things like that or even some concrete powder or some red sand which you know, actually have some here, I can duplicate some of that and of course, now all we need to do is actually take off this trunk loader machine, yep, got the diorite wall back and this is pretty good, it's functioning really well and then of course later on, I'm gonna make a proper collection system and like storage system for this farm and kind of have like a huge kind of end hub later on and we can do that all in one episode actually but now that we've created this machine I actually want to go back to the town and do that interior building like I was talking about before. But of course before we do that I should probably grab some materials to help me out a little because there's some materials which I don't have and I really have a good idea of using them as an interior block. And one of those materials is found in the end. And oh look at that some more sand. I think that hopper is full. Oh well, it's not it's not already. Okay anyway uh for this material that I'm looking for, I actually have to go to an end city. So I'm going to go ahead, go look for that material, and then I'll see you guys back at the town so that we can start doing some interiors and some detailing. Alrighty, as you can see, we're back at the village now, which means that I've gathered my super rare materials from the end dimension, and hello, who's that there? The villagers they keep annoying me every single time I'm at this part of the village but anyway as I was saying I've got my super rare materials which are some dragon heads that's right dragon heads and you're probably wondering what a dragon head is going to be used for and you're about to see in a minute because there's a super cool furniture design that I saw on the internet and it's really amazing and I'd also like to kind of build that in one of my builds interiors in today's episode but of course before we do that I should probably kill those guys and go to sleep. Alright, just like I was saying before, this player rudely interrupted me and please ignore the fact that I'm basically like a porcupine with so many arrows in me that it took me so long to gather these dragon heads and had such a huge toll on my flappers 
and you can see that it's already down to 137 durability from full durability and I actually had to repair this a few times while looking for the dragon heads but I'm not going to show you guys the drag where I'm going to be using the dragon head for yet I'm gonna actually going to show that to you near the end of this episode because I want to get straight on to building interiors first and then show you what the actual dragon heads are going to be used for so in today's episode, I was thinking about doing these three builds here's interiors, of course, leaving out this build because I'm still kind of contemplating whether we should keep this or not because I'm not too big of a fan of it. But, you know, maybe we should just leave it there for now and while I'm still thinking about it. But I won't be doing the interior for this build in today's episode, but I will be doing this build's interior, which is going to be like a toolsmith slash house in one. This is going to be just a house and this is going to be a tavern. And this is actually going to be the build that I was thinking about putting the unique kind of furniture piece in which is going to be made out of the dragon heads but anyway I think we should get straight into a time lapse for me making these interiors because I think it'll be pretty cool to see that and then after the time lapse I can go ahead and show you the furniture piece which I'm going to be which is going to be made out of the dragon heads and I think it'll be so cool if you want to guys see it so uh, let's go ahead straight get into a time lapse and make these interiors and Let's hit it. So I hope everyone enjoyed the time lapse as usual, like I always say, and we're about to explore these builds in a second, but there's actually one thing which I didn't do in the time lapse. If we come around over here, I actually didn't do this build in the time lapse, and that's because uh, I didn't really like it too much. You can see I only did this whole back area over here with the storage, and then upstairs I didn't do anything because it's kind of hard to kind of fit stuff in here, because this is kind of like a really small building from the inside. So I couldn't really do much here, so I kind of left this building plain and didn't include it in the time lapse. However, we are going to explore these two builds, which I have created the interiors and are included in the time lapse. And I've also made the furniture piece that is like really cool, but that wasn't included in the time lapse. And I'm about to show you guys that in a second. But before we show you that, that is of course in that build. So I'm going to show you the interior of this build first. And I'm really happy with this interior, especially the kitchen area. Because I kind of make it nice and cramped in here. We got a little nice kind of doorway leading through into the living room in this kitchen area. We got a little composter, you know, to fill up the space here, and some nice cabinets and like kind of like a kitchen table area. We also got a little flower pot with a bamboo in there. Some bring stands, kind of look to look like you know some kitchen appliances with a cauldron, of course, as a sink, and some cake over here. And I also love this little detail that we use of this banner, which is like light blue and white striped and it kind of looks like a like a little kind of washcloth or like um, a towel to wash your hands after you use the sink and I think that looks really really cool and of course I've done it in a little bit of greenery around here like I was saying just to make this place feel a little more more alive and I'll put this cake in like I was saying just to kind of fill up the space now of course we move into the living room I'm pretty happy with this as well we got a little nice kind of seating area over here with a little, a little kind of you know carpet design which I really do like and we've of course got our little kind of um, fireplace by here which goes up out of the build and we've got some little kind of cobwebs to show that this place is kind of a bit old and you know dusty that no one has cleaned up around here for a while. Of course we turn around we've got some bushes up there and some paintings on this side of the wall to fill up the space and we've got a huge kind of bookshelf over here you know to fill up this side of the wall and we've got a little kind of table beside here just to put some lanterns 
and some you know other little pieces of decoration around here to fill up the space. Now that of course is this building done. I um, really really like this kitchen area especially of this build but I really do love the interior of this build but now we have to get straight on to looking at this build and I'm actually going to start at the top floor of this build because the bottom floor actually holds that furniture piece which I'm so excited about and you'll probably see that already in the thumbnail so if I just kind of navigate my way to the top floor somehow and we can just enter the balcony we've got the interior up here and I'm really happy with this interior and we've got a lot of aspects which make this really cool so to start off with you usually enter through this ladder over here and we've got a little chimney by here which leads onto the outside or a little fireplace not chimney then we've got a little closet here with some diamond armor and of course a door to look like you know maybe just throw some more kind of clothes in here then we've got like a little desk over here with you know some random assortments of items some lots of greenery around here i try to put flower pots all around the place got some like bushes here we got some bushes up here, we got a little kind of like reading station up here as well. The beds, of course, like I said. We got some paintings over here. And just to fill up the rest of the space, I put some more paintings around. And I put this kind of little cup cupboard design over here, which I put a flower pot in. And I couldn't really put much else in here because these uh blocks are kind of taken up by these drop doors. And that's basically it for this top part, but I really do like this top part of the build. I love both of these builds very, very much. Uh, that much, that one not too much because like I was saying there was kind of some issues which I came into it with and um, You know, it's very too. It's too small to kind of make a proper interior for so maybe that can just be one of our decor kind of buildings Which have no interiors of course if we just go back inside I can go ahead and show you the ground floor now Which has the mysterious item that you've all been waiting for so if you climb down the ladder and close the top door behind us you're gonna see something to our right and that is a piano and this is what i've been looking forward to all episode and you can see it's super realistic we've got the black keys we've got the white keys we've got the piano itself and it looks so so cool and i think it fits in really nicely to this area because it's kind of, kind of like a tavern-esque kind of theme that we're going for over here because we've got like a tavern we've got like what's the bar and kind of table around here which i really like we've got some brewing stands We've got, you know, flower pot, like some, you know, herb and stuff like that. And then we've got lots of flower pots, like I was saying, and some more of these brewing stands to make it look like, you know, you can brew up some beer. And you can just sit down, have a drink at one of these kind of tables. And I think this looks really cool. And I really, really love this keyboard or like piano design. It looks super realistic. But unfortunately, that's going to have to be the end of today's episode. And I really enjoyed making these interiors at the end. And of course doing that sand duper at the beginning of the episode but like i said this is going to have to be the end of the episode so i hope everyone enjoyed this episode as usual and i'll see you all in the next one bye